Cancer. <laughs> so stupid. Cancer. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Cancer, it's me. So emotional, so crabby. Cause we have a hard shell and a gooey center. I've never eaten crab, but I assume the center's gooey. People have a hard time breaking through that crab and then once they do, they're like, <laughs> run away. Why are you so much? Literally, I've been called too generous, too motherly. Literally, a guy broke up with me once cause he said I was, to consider it. Is that a thing? Cancers, we are emotional, we are moody. People use moody against us as if it's a bad thing. No, we just feel everything and we take care of everyone around us. We're mother nature, basically. We're mothers. We're not well, we are very sick. A little fun fact about cancers. The FBI has reported that uh, the most killers are actually cancers. Surprise, you're a sociopath. <laughs> Shocking. Oh, I give ult. <laughs> I have so many cancer friends. It's, it's a lot. Hot emotions boiling to the top. There's a lot of arguing and then there's a lot of crying and then there's a lot of reconciliation and then it turns back over like three days later. At work, we like security. We like to have money because we're always saving for a rainy day. I don't know when that rainy day is coming, but we're always saving for it. We need to take some risks. All of you should become comedians like me. We can do it together and create our own sketch tube called the Cancer Scraps. <laughs> Speak up. Tell people what you need and what you want. You're the one who's keeping yourself back, so take that risk, go for that promotion. Know that you are amazing and you deserve it. This is also a reminder to myself. <laughs> A problem with cancers, we have to get to know someone before we become intimate, then it's love, then it's passion, and then ideally in our heads, it's marriage. I like to think that cancers are super attractive. We're also super sensual and super romantic. We're like really fun to date and we're really giving. We will be your emotional support. We will do whatever you want in the bedroom. You know there's five types of love languages? Cancers are all five. We are all five. The problem is it's hard for us to trust. We don't let everyone in because we really do value what we give to people. We don't like flakiness. We want partners who are reliable, partners who are willing to get to know us. We hold grudges. I know, it's their fault. They were an asshole. But we gotta know that sometimes they didn't mean to do it. Learn how to forget that person has made an effort. They're trying to be a part of your life. We're so impatient. We want everything now. You have to know that good things take time. Relax, we're homebodies, so go put on some pajamas. You love naps, you love to cuddle. I'm thinking about my bed right now. You can always feel like yourself around a cancer, and we like to see the weirdness in people. They love family, they wanna be a part of your family. You just want a barrel of children. You're basically the Von Trapp, fa wait, did they have two parents that love them, or was one of the parents dead? <laughs> <laughs> they just love it. They're sickos. We're sickos. Listen, don't forget about yourself because you know what? People will take all your time and they will use you. Think about yourself for the love of God. Remember you exist and you are worth it and you are important. I feel like I'm writing a time capsule to myself. <laughs> That's you, Cancer, and you're very welcome. You wanna know about your crush or your friend or your father or your mother or your daughter or your child or someone, just anyone. Go look up their horoscope on the Chatelaine page. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe.